hey, it's Joe Glines from the Automator. And if you're a site for auto hotkey user, you might be having this big error box pop up. Um, I'll show my screen here in a second to see, so you can get an idea. Meanwhile, this URL over my head here, uh, I have a lot of videos, I think around 30 or so on using site for auto hotkey. It's a great editor. This, uh, you might, when you open it, you might be getting this type of an error here. It says there is a new site for auto hockey version. Uh, the problem is, I think where this site goes to check, that site is no longer uh, a valid domain owned by the person. And so site's going to check and it says uh, it's coming up with this error and you can't easily click out of it. What you need to do is to go into your site user.properties file. So go to options open user properties. When you do, it actually opens this file, the site for user. It's going to say here, site user properties file, um, and add this line here, automatic dot updates equals zero. Uh, here I put a little comment in here to remind me. Now this is my, I have a, like a, an hour, hour and a half long video or something where I walk through my entire site for auto hockey's file, uh, because customizing and I've done a crap load of stuff and it's really, really powerful. Like this one right here says, hey, you know what? Before you open like a 20 meg file, once you put a little warning here, like, are you sure you want to open that? Um, there's just lots of stuff you can do to customize it. So anyway, this will get around that little, that big pop up for now. Um, I'm not sure. I think I saw someone talking about possibly because the version of site for auto hotkey is actually based on an older version of site. Also, maybe someone will get into it and actually update it with a newer version of site and then hopefully point it in the right direction. Incidentally, um, this is one of the things that if you're building code, it's really great to use a redirect in your program. And that way, if you had a redirect, so you could put it in to say, Hey, use this URL. And then it would go somewhere else. Well, if you had a server that could change where that's pointing, it would allow you to not have to update anything on anyone's computer. Because right now, unless they get it back to where it actually was checking, there's no way to easily fix this. Everyone's going to have to go download a new version, right? Or do something like this to, to change it. So it's just something to keep in mind. Hope that helps you. Have a great day. Bye.